Pick up a favorite snack and read the label. Do you need a chemistry degree to understand what you're about to eat? Well, Kitdo reports there are plenty of bizarre ingredients used to make many popular foods, and they're all perfectly legal. Shopping for dinner. Hungry? Want a snack? Instant noodles? Soft drinks? Frozen entrees? They're fast, cheap, and easy. But did you know a lot of our favorite foods are made with ingredients or additives best described as bizarre? In any given month, 8 out of 10 Americans will eat or drink something that is processed with an ingredient they know absolutely nothing about. So with the help of Dr. John Schwartzberg of UC Berkeley School of Public Health, KPIX5 assembled a smorgasbord of popular foods, all containing a weird ingredient. They I mean, put the good stuff. We asked Juliet and her daughter Rosie to play along in our game of what is it? Let's start with the healthy stuff and then we'll work our way down to dessert. First up, shredded cheese. In it? Powdered cellulose. Well, cellulose is a plant product and it's made from a variety of plants, including, of course, wood. Whoa. It keeps your cheese from clumping. The more cellulose you put in, which is very cheap to make, the more money you make. <laughs> okay, next, in some frozen burritos, snacks and pizza. What, what's in there? They all share L-cysteine. What's that? No idea. <laughs> L-cysteine is an amino acid, but not just any amino acid. This particular amino acid is made from Hair and duck feathers. Yep, human hair or duck feathers. That's gross. It's used as a dough conditioner to improve its texture. There is an ingredient found in some red juice and yogurt. Colored with carmine. Carmine? Sounds like Maybe a, name. a plant? Carmine is a natural red food dye made by boiling cochineal insects. <gasps> wow. If they ground them up, it made a beautiful red dye. Next up, granulated sugar. What makes it so sparkly white? Is it bleach? Nope. Some brands use charred animal bones or bone char. <laughs> to keep salt from caking up, some brands mixed in powdered sand or limestone. To clarify some white wines and beers, makers use a special filter called isinglass. It's made from bladders of bony fish. Hmm. And finally, those shiny little jelly beans. On the label? Confectioner's glaze. Confectioner's glaze? What's that? Sounds like, um, you know, like a sugar glaze that um, bakers would put on, say, donuts or something. Nope. Confectioner's glaze is shellac. <gasps> shellac is made from a specific insects in Asia. These bizarre ingredients are all legal to use in food. The FDA classifies them, as well as thousands of other additives, as generally recognized as safe, or grass for short. <laughs> as for Juliet and Rosie... I'll steer clear. In Silicon Valley, Kitto, KPIX5. Mmm, hungry? Mmm. Mm. Well, one way to steer clear, experts say eat a diet rich in whole foods and low in processed ones. As for beer, Guinness is actually one company that no longer uses the dried bladders of bony fish to filter its brew. It's now vegan friendly.